You're watching the Gopher Coaches Show. Yeah, we're rising up. Welcome back to the Gopher Coaches Show. Ahmad Hicks, Justin Gard, Coach Johnson. We said before the break that Elijah Hawkins gets asked to do a lot for this team. How do you challenge your point guard to keep getting better at this point in the season? I think guard play is very key to any success, especially as you progress throughout the, throughout the year. You know, just running the show. And that's on both sides of the ball, mm -hmm. right? It's, it's giving guys confidence, keeping teammates involved, the head of the snake. Normally, if it ends good, it, it starts good, it ends good. It right. starts bad, it ends bad. And that's, again, it's, it's defensively, right? Is our point of pickup right? Mm -hmm. are, we, are we solid on the ball? Are we, are we aggressive on the ball? That's going to trickle down to everybody else. And then offensively, it's just getting into our stuff, playing with really good pace. So, you know, we talk a lot about that, about mentality, pace, flow, mm -hmm. uh, making sure the ball's moving and we're playing the right way. All right. Well, Justin, I know you have some more questions, but I got to make you wait because we have a story coming I'll up. I'll play with, with the right Hawkins. pace. Whatever pace you need to play with. He's a team first I'll, guy, I'll, I'll Coach. I'll play with like that pace. You should pick him up for the end of the bench. Now, we have this story with no. Elijah Hawkins. I got a chance to go one-on-one -on -one with him, ask him how he got here to Minnesota and what he's hoping to accomplish before he graduates. Take a listen. All right, so Elijah, walk me through how you ended up here in Minnesota from your HBCU, Howard. Uh, so uh, I guess last year, uh, I think my team had a great season, you know, uh, our first March Madness appearance in uh, 35 years. Right. Uh, you know, I decided to enter the transfer portal, which uh, a lot of athletes do when, you know, they feel it's best to, you know, make a change or have a transition. So. I feel like it was best for me, you know, to come to a school where, you know, I have more of a platform and, you know, I can really show my talents at the highest level. And, um, you know, Minnesota came apart uh, about midway through my uh, process of the transfer portal. Mm -hmm. And uh, they were my first visit and I just loved it here. And, I just couldn't say no. And how basically. can you pass up playing at Minnesota when you have players like Cam Christie on your team? What's Cam, it like playing with this guy? It's great playing with Cam <laughs> Christie, uh, you know, when every time I pass on the ball, it seems to go in. So, you know, What's, I can't be mad at that. What was Coach Johnson's selling point to coming here? What did he say it was going to be like? What was the team going to be like? Because obviously Minnesota has some down years recently. Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, I've seen the roster. There was a lot of time on the roster. You know, we had guys like Cam. And Mike coming in, uh, you know, those, those are two key pieces to uh, my commitment. Mm -hmm. And I feel like uh, with them two coming in, that, that created more of a, a guard balance for me. And I knew that they both could shoot the ball at a high level. So I feel like us three playing together very complement each other. And uh, that was a big part. You know, Dawson, Dawson Garcia, that's yeah. All-American big man. And Pharrell Payne, uh, two All-American big mans, I feel like. Those are definitely two great parts to me committing. Uh, all guys that I see that I can get involved in, you know, we can make each other better. So, yeah. What's it like coming here with these facilities? I mean, because <laughs> when, you, when you look around here, I mean, it's just like state of the art. What's, yeah. What was that transition like, having this type of access to go work out and craft your game? This is, this is everything. Uh, my first time coming in here, I just thought I was walking into the future. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to lie, but, um, you know, to see this every day, I feel like it's a blessing. And I just thank God, you know, put me in this position and uh, have an opportunity to, you know, get all the uh, things that I need and all the things that I want to. I feel like this has, you know, we have whirlpools, uh, practice gyms, all things like that, 24 hours. So I feel like that's just, you know, it's just proactivity. Well, let's keep walking down to your practice gym because obviously that's where you guys get it in the majority of the time. Yep. For you... What's been the biggest turnaround for this team this season? What is it you? Because I feel like when you play, this team goes, man. I yeah. feel like you guys can't be stopped. Yeah, for sure. Uh, you know, uh, I feel like it's my whole team. I feel like we all buy in and we're all unselfish. And I feel like that's a big part of winning. Uh, when you want to win, everybody has to, you know, put their their uh, single e egos aside. And, mm -hmm. you know, we have to come together as a team. And when we play as a team, I feel like that's our best style of basketball. You had some success winning last year, and yep. Coach talked about having players that won in the past is important. Cam mm -hmm. being one of those guys in high school. Yeah. How, what winning mentality did you bring over here, and how did you rub that off on your teammates? Uh, I bring a strong winning mentality. Uh, you know, I bring grit, hunger, uh, you know, competitive. I'm very competitive, I would say, on the court. And you know, when I, when I get it going, I feel like it's, it's, hard, it's hard to stop me, uh, whether it's scoring 
or getting my teammates involved. I just feel like I'm, I'm a very, th I'm a good threat on the court, even defensively. I feel like my steals and, you know, I just bring a lot to the game, so yeah. Where did this heart come from and this love for basketball? You're undersized, yet you play like a big dog out there. Um, you know, I think me being from D.C., you know, it's, it's, it's a lot, it's a lot of uh, great guards coming from D.C., a lot of great players coming from D.C., and I feel like it was just instilled in me since I was born. Uh, ever since second grade, you know, I've been playing against, you know, the top guys in the nation. And, you know, guys from where I'm from, we just never back down from the moment. Okay. All right. And I want to ask you about life outside of the basketball court. So mm -hmm. we keep walking this way. So you're from D.C. Yeah. Obviously, you did an internship out here that was pretty impactful on your life. Yeah. Explain to me what that internship was, what you did, and how that had a big impact on you. Um, so I did an internship on Capitol Hill, which was, uh, you know, I did with um, the Secret Service. Mm -hmm. uh, I felt like it was... I was very impactful for me, you know, just me being able to, you know, go and go into the Capitol every day uh, during the summer and just figure out things that they have going on in there. Uh, I attended the January yeah. 6th hearing, I uh -huh. attended that. Uh, that was very uh, informational, you know, just to see like what goes on in there. Cause I, I really, I was pretty blank going into it. So mm -hmm. uh, just, you know, see what goes on in, in the Capitol. And, and uh, federation stuff, so that was nice. So when you're done playing basketball, do you have a future of politics? Um, possibly. <laughs> <laughs> possibly. Possibly. All right, now I want to ask you a couple of questions about your teammates right now. Yeah. Who has the best shoe swag on the team? Um, I'm going to say me. You got the best shoes? Okay, yeah. look at this Dior sandals. Guys. All right, so we, I will give you some credit with that. All right, you're dripping with those. Yeah. All right, well, who has the best hair on the team? Um, I know that's a that's a tricky question. Someone told me to ask this. <laughs> I'm gonna go with uh, Michael KB. KB. Yeah, okay. Michael KB. All right. Uh, let's see who has the best style on the basketball court. On the basketball court. On the basketball court, because Parker Fox told us that Dawson Garcia had the best style off the court. <laughs> <laughs> Off the court, I don't know about that. I think I went off the court. But so, so you take a court. style in general for your yeah, team? Yeah, yeah, I'm oh. taking style. I'm taking oh. style. All right, who's the fastest on the team? The fastest piece, piece, uh, Jackson Purcell. He's, he, he beat sure. anybody in the race? Yeah, for sure. All right, if you had to trust anybody on your team, if you had a kid to babysit your kid, who would you least like to babysit your kid on this team? <laughs> uh, I would go with, I would go with Mike. <laughs> okay, who does the best impersonation of Coach Johnson? Um, Isaiah Ene. Okay, all right, and final question that I have for you. If it comes to running sprints or suicides or anything mm -hmm. like that, who's the one player on the team that you guys are watching closely to make sure they make their time? Um, probably Big Jack <laughs> or... Uh, um, for real, I'm gonna say big jack. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we appreciate your time. You, you yes, keep sir. doing your thing. Got another big year coming up for the yep. Gophers. We appreciate it, man. Appreciate you. Well, there's a lot of truth in that last 90 seconds, Coach. I mean, did you learn something about your team there? <laughs> Learned a little bit. You learn something new every day. You got to know who to watch now. What would a Ben Johnson impersonation entail? What do you think? You know, uh, that's a really good question. Yeah. I'm actually going to have to maybe <laughs> pose that question because uh, I'm interested to see what that Bring Isaiah like. up. And I, see. Might, I might have to. Maybe let I him talk before to. Purdue. Uh, in all seriousness with Elijah, you talked a lot this offseason about bringing a guy who's been there, who's been to the tournament, who's been a winner. So what do you think he has brought to your team in that regard? And how do you think he's adjusted to the big 10. I think his progression has been really good, you know, from the beginning stage of the year to where he is now. I think it's light years. Um, you know, I think his work ethic has contributed to that. Um, he alluded to it. He's a big time competitor. He wants to find a way to be successful. Yeah. He's a survivor. Um, and, you know, I think our team responds to him. I think our team responds to his confidence. Our team responds to his fight, his competitive hunger, his edge. And when he's playing like that and He's, he's pushing it, uh, and he's just asserting himself with that mentality. I think it just resonates with everybody else on the team. Well, needless to say, he's going to need to bring it at practice this week and later because you guys